engineers, data scientists, welcome back to another video in the series on Fluent Python. Fantastic book by Luciano Romalo. If you want to learn Python in depth, this is the book to buy. This video will dive back into chapter two, uh, list comprehensions and generator expressions. One thing the book points out is that list can be used to create Cartesian products if you need to do that. A Cartesian product is a the product essentially of two sets. So if you have set A here, X, Y, Z, and you have set B, one, two, three, what you can do with lists is uh, multiply every X by every um, item in B, um, same, the same for the Y and same for the Z. Um, so you can get, get this product together. It's called a Cartesian product. It's a really bad idea to do. Usually people do it by accident. Uh, in databases and and wonder why their program is running so slowly is because they're it's because they're creating a Cartesian product but sometimes you need to do it so what you can do is if you have two sets uh, of things two lists so let's go create a list called sizes uh, small medium and large and you have colors uh, green blue so if you have sizes and colors small medium large colors green and blue what you can do is create your t-shirt options which are going to be the size and the color size color for size in sizes for color in colors and so you have your options here um, which is a new list of each size and color combination. So uh, this is kind of a trivial example, but they're really useful. Um, if you need to create this kind of um, Cartesian project list, list and um, you want to do it quickly, you can do it with lists. So we're going to turn our attention now to generator expressions, Gen X's as they're sometimes called. So uh, as Luciano points out, um, List comprehensions are one trick ponies. That's sometimes the, you know, a benefit can be a benefit. They do one thing really well. But if you need other kinds of, uh, of sequences that are not, uh, that are not list comprehensions, there are other ways to achieve them. Okay, so here are symbols. What you could do one, one way, one non list um, sequence is a tuple. So ORD S for S in symbols would be the tuple version of this. Tuples are immutable, uh, unlike lists. I can't, um, if I do this again, and I put this, try to say that this is, um, I just call it a tup, <clears throat> tup.append one is not gonna let me do that because the tuple object has no attribute append, it's immutable. There are other kinds of non-list sequences. One is an array. So import array, array.array .array constructor. The first argument in the array constructor is uh, the type that, um, that you are storing. And then symbols kind of interested in the other kinds of symbols <clears throat> kind of interested in the other kinds of types I can have I'm not sure we will explore array more in the future what I'm doing is running uh, dir on array to get um, to get all of the methods and attributes of the array constructor but this is another kind of generator expression so what happens in these generator expressions no list is created as a byproduct you won't have it okay so let's go back to our t-shirts example we had colors and we had sizes so for was it for t-shirt in uh, let's say list <clears throat> the string formatting c s for c and colors for 
S in sizes print t-shirt. And I, of course, am on Python 3. So I need to do this. So uh, no list is created here um, as a byproduct. So what we have is this, this generator expression is yielding uh, these t-shirt these combinations as they are created. So a list isn't holding it as an intermediary, uh, which makes generator expressions more efficient. Okay, so that's uh, the end of the list comprehensions and then getting into uh, other generator expressions, namely tuples, which we'll um, dive more into depth to in the next video, which is coming right up. Stick around.